Mullerwell are fucking shite, and that sums up their second round Europa Conference League qualifier against Irish side Sligo Rovers, who they lost to at home, at fucking home. They lost 1-0 to Sligo Rovers. There's me always giving it the big one. Oh, the Scotland, Scottish League's back. Scottish football's underrated. Scottish football's good. Aye, there's about two fucking good teams in Scottish football. And Mullerwell might have just proved tonight that the rest of them are fucking shit. And it was a former Hearts man as well, Aidan Keener, with the goal that gave Sligo Rovers not only a win tonight, but gave them a real chance of progressing through... This second round Europa Conference League game where the winner would meet, I believe, uh, Sparta Prague or Faking, Faking, Faking who? Faking who cares? The Norwegian side, Faking. I thought they had a second name, but apparently they don't, just Faking. So, yeah, no, nah, that's what it would be. I believe they had a goal as a draw the night between Sparta Prague and Faking, so that tie is still in the balance. Don't get me wrong, this Mullerwell tie is still in the balance. They're by no means out of it. But they need a much better performance in the second leg if they are going to get through this tie-in. Honestly, last year, Mullerwell, I did not want Mullerwell qualifying for the Europa League. I thought Mullerwell was shit. I mean, if you look at the results towards the end of last season, how they got into the top six and how they managed to snatch a European place was sickening. There was about four or five teams better that missed out on top six, really. Ross County were a hell of a lot better. They would have been a better option. Livingston would have been a better option. There's a bunch of better teams than Mullerwell. This Mullerwell side are not a good side. They may have finished fifth, but that, that honestly, that that's like a fake fucking finish there. That's a fake placing placing the standard, man. The date standings, they, they are not good. They are no, There's no danger. You're not telling me this steel men shite are the fifth best side in Scotland because they're absolutely not. I mean, they're maybe the fifth worst. They're probably actually lower than that. Yeah, no, I wouldn't say that. They're, they're definitely not a top six side, but they managed to sneak into it and they've done, they've done Scotland no favours tonight. And I've got a bone to pick with these teams in Scotland because, let's be real, outside the old firm, and you could argue for the past decade, actually, there's only been one team that has really done anything for the coefficient, and that's Rangers. Rangers are the only team, I think, that have done what's expected from them in Europe. They're the only team that I think have overachieved when I look at Scottish clubs. Yeah, you've got Celtic winning the league every year, getting into Europe and this and that. But most times Celtic get pumped and it's not even against teams that are better than them. It's against teams that you'd expect them to beat. And that, and going for the rest of the league, people think that I expect Mullerwell to qualify for the group stage. I expect Aberdeen every season to make it to the group stage. Hibernian. You know, even my own team Hearts, I expect them to make it to the group stage. No, I don't. I do not expect them to make it to the group stage. But I'd like to think maybe once every like fucking five years one of them could at least get there one of them could you know cause a surprise but is it too much to believe that these teams the scottish teams can at least defeat the teams that they're far superior than in europe i mean there's no way mullerwell should be losing to sligo rovers it shouldn't happen but it has happened a couple of years ago kilmarnock Connor Quay Nomads, they should never have fucking lost that game, right? Fair enough, if Kilmarnock are losing to a decent team, a half-decent side like a Sparta Prague, or, I mean, you look at St. Johnston last year losing to Galatasaray, you know what, fair enough, I can accept that. But when they're losing to teams that they're expected to beat, when they're losing to teams on paper that they should be, you know, defeating with no problems, then that's when I do have an issue. And that happens so many fucking times, time and time again. Like I said, I'm not expecting our teams to make it into the group stage every single season. But I don't know why we can't be getting to the third qualifying round, why we can't be getting to the playoffs. I just don't see it. I don't see why. We should be... But we're not. I mean, at least this season we're guaranteed three teams in the group stage. But again, honestly, Hearts fan, huge Hearts fan. But if we had to qualify, would I be super confident that we could navigate our way into the group stage if we were entering in the third round? Honestly, no, I wouldn't. And that, that's a problem. I mean, like I said, I can understand that if we're against teams superior to us, then, then yeah, albeit so. You know what? That Yeah, you lose, that's fucking fine. But... Time and time again, every single season, we don't seem to be going as far as we're expected to. You know, if, like normally in previous seasons, Scottish teams come in in like first qualifying round. And you look at it and you go, right, we should at least get 
we should at least get into the third qualifying round, you know, we should win the first one, we'll see that in the second one, we should at least get to the third, but, nah, time and time again, your Aberdeens, your, your Hibernians, or whatever, whoever qualifies, they let us down big time, and it doesn't help the Scottish coefficient, it doesn't help football in Scotland, and like I said, I think honestly Rangers are the only team that I can look at, and it's not their fault that for the like the last 10 years they've only been in Europe for half of it. I mean, it's definitely not. No, I mean, they can't help the fact that they were sent in the divisions. That's not... Or you can argue they can, but at the end of the day, they weren't in it. So I can't blame them. You can't blame them for the coefficient when they weren't in Europe. You know, that's that's nothing they fucking do with them. But yeah, nah, it's, a, it's an absolute joke. It's an absolute joke. I remember back in the day, you'd, you'd Scottish teams, not regularly, but you'd, 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 you'd Scottish team making it to the group stage. You'd... Aberdeen in 2008, I believe Hearts did it in 2007, I think Hibernian were in the group stage in 2005, so you were getting, you know, you were getting teams outside the, you know, the old form actually doing half decent in Europe, but now, it, and this, this result doesn't even surprise me, as pissed off as I am that Mullerwell have let the country down the night, this doesn't surprise me, I mean, like I said, Mullerwell are not a good team, and like it's, you know, time and time again every single season, at least one Scottish team seems to be going it a round or two earlier than they should. And uh, yeah, it's no surprise to me that Mullerwell have lost tonight. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't go through in the second leg. I could I could easily see a scenario where they lose a game or they're only good enough to get a draw and they go out because, I mean, this ain't good enough. I remember a couple of years ago, Mullerwell went to a penalty shootout against fucking Glen Torin. I mean, or was it Coleraine? It was some shite team for Northern Ireland. My point being is, this shouldn't be happening, right? We need, we need to get better as a country. We need to get better. You know, we, we, as much as we do, like, fucking say we hate the old firm, uh, the reality is if, the, if both old firm teams left Scotland, uh, Scottish football would be in a fucking dire straits. Let, let's be real. <laughs> if, if both old firm teams left Scotland, uh, I wouldn't like to see the Scot state of Scottish football because the teams are bad enough without them. You take them, out, you take them out the league, and I mean, how much worse do you think these teams are getting? A hell of a lot worse. How much? I mean, the the TV deals. We don't even get big money for TV deals at the moment. How much lower is the TV deals going to be if we didn't have Rangers and Celtic? You know what I mean? So I think the rest of the teams, my team, including Hearts. We need to step up. We need to start doing fucking better. We just cannot rely on Rangers and Celtic. You know, we need other teams to step up and be a force for Scotland. It didn't happen tonight with Mullerwell. They should have been comfortably through in this tie. It hasn't happened. Hopefully they can salvage it in the second leg. But honestly, I'm not convinced. I would have sacked Graham Alexander at the end of last season. Like I said, very, very lucky to get a top six place. I think they won one league game from Christmas till the actual split. And that's fucking horrendous. And tonight's results horrendous too, guys. Anyway, that's it. It's on Scotland TV. Uh, yeah, Mullerwell are shite. And then, you know, it's a fucking... And that's the Scottish coefficient going down. Till next time, peace.